Welcome back to Master Your Glass with me, Livio Lara. Today, I want you to relax. We're making CBD mocktails. Let's get into it. So public interest in CBD has really grown in the past few years, especially because of its really promising health benefits in making you feel calmer, making you feel more relaxed, and helping you get through anxiety, and actually a whole lot of other stuff. But let's start making some drinks, shall we? Okay, so this is our first uh, non-alcoholic CBD cocktail. It's called the Nojito, of course, because it's not a mojito. So what I did in this cocktail is, the first thing I did is in a shaker tin and a shaker glass, I added ice in the tin, and in the glass I put eight large mint leaves. And then after that, I fresh pressed three ounces of fresh lemon juice, followed that with two ounces of the Liquid Alchemist Simple Syrup, and that of course helped me sweeten up the lemon juice and the mint mixture. I then rolled them back and forth, and the reason why you roll them back and forth is because you're trying to mix them together without violence. Uh, you don't really want to extract the bitter notes from the mint, you just want the mint flavor to come out. After that, I dumped everything directly into the glass, uh, added a little bit more ice where needed, and then I topped this mixture with Fever Tree uh, lemon soda, and then once again, I topped it with two drops of Martha Stewart's Meyer Lemon CBD oil. Uh, and what I wanted to do here with the CBD oil being floated on top is that is that so that it stays on the surface of the drink and that aroma actually uh, does contribute to the to the drink itself. Uh, now I'm going to try it. Mm. Oh, it's everything you imagine. It's a really nice lemonade drink with those minty flavors to it, of course, coming from the eight mint leaves and the aroma. And the CBD, the Meyer lemon CBD is really affecting it. And it's really hard to explain how it's um, uh, on my palate, but I can definitely taste a little bit of that flavor of a little bit, almost where beer meets the skin of the Meyer lemon oil. And it's really, really adding and contributing in a really nice way. Alrighty, so here we have the Blood Orange Caballero. Uh, to make this refreshing mocktail, uh, what I did was I s uh, rimmed the glass, or half the glass, with salt. Of course, I do that because some people may want the salt, and some people may not. Some people actually may want to go back and forth. Uh, after that, I added ice, and then I put one ounce of fresh pressed lime juice. Now, in this case, fresh pressed is extremely important. It will make the drink taste better and of course, uh, healthier. The next thing I did is I added half ounce or 30 milliliters of Liquid Alchemist Blood Orange Syrup. It's gonna give that nice, rich flavors that you would expect from Blood Orange. And after that, I topped it with Fever Tree Pink Grapefruit Soda and gave this all a nice stir together. Then I added one milliliter of Martha Stewart's CBD Blood Orange Drops. And of course, in this case, I used the full uh, one milliliter dosage. Uh, with the previous one, I went a little bit lighter. Of course, you want to uh, adjust uh, to uh, you know your liking. And then I garnished this with a nice little lemon wheel. And uh, this one here is a beauty. Oh, if it's nice, there's a wonderful orange. The blood orange flavors are popping. The lime juice is popping. Again, that nice little funkiness or almost, I almost wanna say beer-like flavor from the CBD oil is actually here. It's contributing to the cocktail. And then of course the ruby, uh, the, the pink grapefruit juice from Fever Tree is also really uh, adding that nice refreshing component to this drink and cheers. So this here is the cucumber mint cooler, very easy to make. I pressed uh, a fresh lime and got one ounce out of it. 
And then on top of that, to sweeten it up, of course, again, I added Liquid Alchemist Simple Syrup, and that was a half of an ounce. And then I just topped this with Quattro Cucumber Mint Sparkling Water, and then I gave it a stir. And then after that, I just added a mint top and a nice cucumber slice, and now I'm ready to try it. Mmm, cucumber nice and refreshing. And the lime juice is pushing up that acid. A really, really refreshing drink and um, uh, quite nice, quite pleasant. Okay, so this here is the passion fruit guava. Now to make this drink, this is a tropical almost, of course it's a mocktail, but it's, it's inspired by the flavors of Polynesian style. Uh, cocktails which do have alcohol in them, despite this one, of course does not. I used two ounces of ripe Bayesian, and ripe Bayesian punch is basically a mix of Valencia oranges, uh, along with Hamlin orange, uh, Costa Rican pineapple juice, grated nutmeg, and Angostura bitters. So on its own, it's already a nice, delicious, and tropical uh, product. Uh, on that, of course, I topped it with four ounces of Quattro CBD infused sparkling water with their passion fruit and guava flavor. I gave those a nice little mix together and then I just floated everything with Liquid Alchemist Grenadine Lime Wedge Garnish and this one here is ready to go. Just what you would imagine, all those tropical pineapple, orange, guava flavors, all really coming in, really tropical and nice, and another great drink in the books. Okay, so this here is the Ginger Citrus Fizz. What I did to make this drink was I filled this beautiful glass with ice, and then I took two ounces or 60 milliliters of ripe lemon sour, uh, I then added on top of that ripe lemon sour uh, about four ounces of Quattro uh, ginger and lime sparkling water. And then on top of that, I added a half an ounce ginger syrup. I gave this a nice stir. And then I added on top of it, just as a garnish, uh, two CBD wellness gummies from Martha Stewart. And this is uh, the citrus medley. All right, I'm excited. Oh, just really, really nice. Mmm. Think about this nice sparkling citrus and ginger flavors with all these beautiful bubbles tingling your palate. There's enough sweetness there from the uh, um, Liquid Alchemist ginger syrup. And then there's just these nice fresh flavors. That is a winner. So this one here is the Very Berry Spritz. The way I made this one is I used two ounces of Cherry Bundy Natural Tart Cherry Juice. Uh, nice and delicious. It's, there's 50 cherries in this bottle, just slightly sweetened with a little bit of, of uh, apple juice from Concentrate. And then I put a quarter of an ounce of fresh pressed lemon juice. And then last but not least, I topped this drink with the Quattro Blueberry and Acai uh, flavored water. And last but not least, after giving this a nice little stir, I uh, garnished this uh, drink with two CBD wellness gummies. These are from Martha Stewart and they are part of the Berry Medley. Okay, so now I am gonna go ahead and try this. Mm. Oh, very refreshing, very nice. This drink here, uh, the, 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 the cherry juice, the tart cherry juice is really giving it these almost wine-like uh, red wine flavor uh, profile. And of course the bubbles from the Quattro is really, really nice. And that freshness from the lemon juice, really a nice drink. Now, of course, these are mocktails, so there was no alcohol in them. And the amounts of CBD that I put in, he put in here varied a little bit, but they were all of course under what we are uh, is considered one dosage, but by all means, please do some homework before you make these at home. Check how much you can, how much CBD you can drink and or you can ingest and do it responsibly. And thanks for watching. I will see you soon.